In the first video, we completed our floor plan and drew the border. Now let's make the dimension layer current. Drop the list down of layers and pick right on the word dimensions. At the top wall, we're going to pick the linear tool, which is in the annotation panel. Pick linear and then pick the inside corner of the top wall here. Pick the inside corner of the top wall here on the right side. Pull your mouse up and click. And notice that the dimension is very small. You'll see the real small arrows and text. And that's because getting back to scale factors, our scale factor is 48 for this drawing. We said that this was a very large drawing compared to the smaller drawings that we've been working with. And so we need to increase the line type scale, which we did, the border scale by 48 times the size, and also the dimensions. So a quick way of getting to the dimension style dialog box is to type in the letter D and enter. Pick the modify button, go to the fit tab, and now in the fit tab, and this is all about model space by the way, all of these scale factors and settings are about putting everything in the model space. We haven't talked about layout 1 or layout 2 yet. In the fit tab we're going to change the overall scale to 48 where it says use overall scale of 48 and then we'll pick OK and close. I just wanted to show you here that that will increase the scale of the drawing. Let's type in D and enter and pick the Modify button to change the way that the dimension looks. Each one of these tabs will modify the way that the dimension looks. So if we go to the Symbols and Arrows tab, we can change the first arrowhead to Architectural Tick, like in our drawing. And the arrow size will change to an eighth inch. We'll go to the Lines tab and now we have available extend beyond ticks which is that small line that extends beyond those slashes or those architectural ticks we're going to change that to an eighth inch where it says extend beyond ticks an eighth inch and then down here at the bottom right corner extend beyond the dimension lines we'll change that to an eighth inch also let's go to the text tab in the text tab we'll change the text height to an eighth inch, which is the plotted text height. Remember, that text height is going to be multiplied by the 48 that we established over here as the overall scale. So in the text tab, we'll change the text height to an eighth. We'll change the text placement vertical to above, and the text alignment, change it to aligned with dimension line. Going to the primary units tab, we can change our unit format to architectural. When we typed in units at the beginning of video one, we changed the units for typing in information and what we see at the command line. These units will change the way that the numbers appear in the dimensions. So in the primary units tab, change the unit format to architectural. And then at the bottom left corner where it says zero suppression, we want to see 14 foot zero inch. So take the check mark out of zero inches so that we can see the zero on 14 foot zero. But keep the check mark in front of feet because we don't want to see zero feet four inches. We can leave everything else as the default. We'll pick OK and close. And you'll see that we changed the placement of the text to above the, the line. We extended these dimension and extension lines to an eighth inch beyond the tick, architectural tick. And now we can see the architectural units for our dimensions. We can continue dimensioning by picking points to establish our linear dimension. Or another nested way of placing dimensions is to start the linear tool and then press enter 
and select the object that you want to dimension. In this case, the object will be the line at the inside wall, and AutoCAD will automatically pick up the, the two ends of that line. You can then pull your mouse to the right and click. Start the linear command, press Enter, select the object that you want to dimension, which in this case will be the 14-foot line in the inside here. Pull your mouse out and click. When you place the, this four foot dimension, we'll go to linear. This time I'm going to click on the inside corner here and the outside door frame here. Pull your mouse over and kind of force it to be a vertical dimension. Remember, we're not going to try to eyeball these or fudge these. We're going to go right up to an existing dimension until we see that box and click. Same thing here, we can even right click to repeat the dim linear command. I'm going to click here, here, up to this existing dimension and click. Now if this extension line was across this wall, you can select the dimension, pick inside the blue grip, pull your mouse back and click so that you can line those up and get that little space between the extension line and the object. The linear command for this three foot dimension, we can click in this corner and in this corner here, pull your mouse down and click. This one here, we can start the linear command, press enter, select this line and then line it up. And then our last dimension is the four four inch dimension. We can start the linear command and pick the two opposite corners here. Pull your mouse down and click. It's okay that the red lines overlap the wall because when you print a black and white plot, the line weight will blend in with the wall. Now we're ready to place our text. You can make the text layer current by dropping the layer list down and clicking on text. The text height is going to be larger. So if we started with this multi-line text, you can already see that it's going to be really small. If you look in your command line, it says text height is 3 sixteenths of an inch. What we need to do is to multiply the text height, which is an eighth inch, by 48, and we end up with a six inch text height. So if we start the multi-line text, pick a point, and then right click and pick height, we can type in six and enter, and then pull your mouse over and click for the second point for the text. With your cap blocks on, you can call this floor plan Assignment 9, press enter, type in scale 1 quarter inch. When you type in a fraction, you're going to have the choice of stacking the fraction or keeping it side by side. Some people like to enable auto stacking, but my opinion is, is that it's too small, especially when we create check sets for our construction drawings that are that are a smaller scale you can barely make out the fractions so I'm going to take the check mark out of enable auto stacking and put a check mark under don't show this dialog box and then pick OK for a quarter inch equals one foot zero inches and then your name highlight Floor plan assignment 9 and pick the U for underline and then pick in space. You can move it over like we did in other videos by dragging and dropping it if you need to center it. We won't need to type in the layers here, that was for your reference. Go ahead and save the drawing and post it online. If you have any questions or need help, please contact me and I can help you.